Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and today we have an unboxing video here. It's a little bit larger of a box. This watch is from New Carl Watches. They um, agreed to send over a watch for us to check out. So let's uh, get this open and see what we have here. I'll leave a link in the video description to their website. I'm not exactly sure what uh, watch this is, but we'll take a look at it together here. Sorry, the box is a bit large. I can't quite cut it open on screen here. So let's get this thing out of here without destroying the box. All right, I see why it was in a larger box. It, um, the watch box itself is kind of long. It reminds me of uh, the Laco boxes. So here we go. So you have to let me know in the comment section what you think of this watch. And of course, I will do a full review as well. With all of the specifications, it's just a quick unboxing video to get my initial impressions. So there's a magnet on this cardboard box here. I think it looks uh, pretty cool. I've not seen a watch quite like this before. So I don't know what kind of strap this is necessarily. Um, Looks like it's leather backed and some kind of a fabric. So I know this is this might be leather actually, but I'll uh, like I said I'll leave a link to the website below and I'll go into the full specs in the review video. So looking at the movement here, it is a manual wind movement. See what it says. around the case back here. So it's like it's a screwed, a screwed case back. Looks like that sits inside the lugs there. I'm not taking it off or anything, but just uh, looking at the construction here. So five atmosphere, water resistant, so that's 50 meter, sapphire crystal, uh, Founders Edition, so I'm assuming this must be a prototype, 0 out of 90. And here we go, it's a mechanical movement. Salita SW215 Mechanical, so a nice Swiss-made movement. Let's uh, wind this thing up. There we go. I really appreciate a mechanical hand-wind movement, especially if you can see the movement through the case back. Yeah, so I'm winding it in the right direction. Kind of feel the crown um, spinning back. Let's see if I can demonstrate that. How are we going to see that? Yeah, you can see how it's kind of coming back. So anyway, let's um, take a look at it here. Center second hand sweeping away. I'm assuming that is 8 beats per second. I would guess that this is actually a um, automatic movement with the rotor removed and then you just have the manual winding only. It's not like an old uh, uh, Unitas pocket watch movement or anything like that. So it's not a screw down crown. Here we're in date change position. Well, obviously it's not screwed down because it's a manual winding. I was just winding it. Um, yeah, so there's the date. And then next position out should be handset. So we got a hacking movement as well. And 
Yeah, this thing is cool. Let's see what it says on the dial here. Okay, new Carl, and then it says the Sept S E P T M A I hand wound. Not sure how to pronounce that. So let's get this on rest, and we'll close out the video. And also, I noticed it has the quick release straps here. I really do appreciate quick release. So it almost looks like the lugs are separate from the case. So perhaps these screws here attach the lugs to the case and then maybe the movement is exposed um, from the bottom of the case. So that's a unique construction there. And then this looks to be a stamped, a uh, thick stamped buckle. So, all right, let's get this on wrist and we'll close out the video. Looks like quite a large watch. Pretty thin too. One benefit of the hand line movement. I might be able to get it one hole tighter. Maybe not, I don't wanna, yeah, let's try. Yeah, there we go. So I have a six and a half inch wrist with 52 millimeter wristband. The dial is quite large on this, but the lug to lug is not as large as what you would think it would be due to this large watch. And um, the case angles uh, bevels outwards from the bottom up. Yeah, let me know what you think of this watch. Now let me zoom out. I guess that'll leave a link to um, New Carl in the video description. Go check him out. And um, please uh, be posted for the full review. All right, that'll conclude the video. Thank you for watching and catch you on the next one.